Hello everyone! Today we will open up a Rise of the Floodborne Illumineers Trove. For Lorcana, of course, the Disney card game. Now then, uh, we haven't opened up uh, any tro uh, troves from pack uh, from set one. So, let's see what's in here. And then I can tell you why I didn't buy one from set one. <coughs> so, we have a very nice box, and I really like that. Because you can uh, really store the cards in here handy. Ha handily. We have, <laughs> we have a little booklet here. Uh, information on the whole set. Some... Uh, yeah, information about the set. I really like these books, the player guides. I really, really like them. And maybe I will buy the first one, just the booklet. And maybe the empty box, just so I have that. Because I really like to have these books. Also from other card games, I really like that. So we get two cardboard um, deck boxes that do not fit sleeved cards. So, yeah, why even bother? And it's not even a good... It doesn't even close. My goodness, look at that. It doesn't even close. So, yeah. Nice ID. But, no. The work... Eh, the uh, execution is very poorly. See? They don't close. And they don't hold sleeved cards. Then we get some um, damage counters. There's some punch-out counters here. I'm honestly not going to use them because I have dice to do that for me. Um, and of course, we get packs. Now we get eight packs, just like uh, the magic uh, bundles. Yeah, and this is basically why I didn't buy one at a premium price from set one, because there are some boosters in here. Uh, we already opened up uh, a lot of... Well, I opened up a lot of the set off-camera um, due to the pre-releases and some drafts that we were having. Um, yeah, so I just... I didn't want to spend the extra cash on this. The boxes. The booklet and a box. I mean, I can just buy these separate. Um, and the treasure troves for set one were really, really expensive as well, so... No, thank you. But for set two, yeah, we got it at retail price. Uh, yeah, so I was like, sure, let's just get it and open it up and see what we get. So, for the first pack here, um, we have Merlin, the crab. We have Baloo, the fun-loving bear. Ray, easygoing firefly. We have nothing to hide. Uh, Eudora, the accomplished uh, seamstress. We let the storm rage on in our first Uncommon here, Nana, the darling family pet. Pinocchio, talkative puppet. Mother Gothel, withered and wicked. As our first rare here, we have Ratigan, the very large mouse. And we have the Queen as a super rare, disguised peddler. So for three, we get a two, three, no lore. And she has a perfect disguise. Um, if you... Uh, Tap her, uh, choose, and discard a character card. Gain lore equal to the discarded card's lore. Very cool indeed. And we get a foil common. Elsa, gloves of. Right. Alright, so we have here the legend of the sword in the stone. Raya, headstrong. Enchantress, unexpected judge. Popsicle. Uh, painting the roses red, Cinderella, knight in training, first uncommon, Li Shang, the archery instructor, ring the bell, and Fang crossbow. Then we have a rare Noi, orphaned thief, must be from Raya as well, because I have not seen that movie, and it doesn't look familiar. Um, and we have a Madame Mim, fox rare, and a foil charge, common. Right, um, I noticed that uh, when putting everything in a, bound, uh, in a binder for set 2, after opening up a booster box and the two uh, decks, uh, we were missing so many cards still. And that's probably because there are only 12 cards in here. Um, but also, there are two rares in here, um, a guaranteed foil, so 
there are quite some slots missing. And let's count the number of uh, commons. So we have Panic here, uh, Underworld Imp. James the Role Model, that's number two. The Queen, Regal Monarch, number three. Croquet Mallet, number four. Peter Pan's Dagger, number five. And Magic Broom, Industrial Model, number six. So there are six commons, potentially seven if the foil is a common. Six commons in a booster. There are 30 boosters in a box. Did I say that right? 30? No, it doesn't sound right. 24, 24 packs. So there's even less packs than um, card games like Pokemon or Magic. And usually when you buy a booster box of either of those, you get all the commons, mostly. And except for maybe one or two, you get most of the uncommons. But for this game, oh my goodness, I was missing so many commons still, and, and uncommons even worse. Well, the rares were, yeah, really on the complete side, because you get two of those in a pack. So it's really a weird distribution, and you really need more than one box if you want to collect. That's super annoying. Um, Isma without beauty sleep, but luckily my, my, my mother and my sister, they collected two, and uh, my brother-in-law, so we could mix and match until we have some complete collections. So Cruella de Vil, perfectly wretched, bashful, the hopeless romantic, then as a rare here we have Dinner Bell, and Chief Bogo, the respected officer. And as our uh, foil, we get a super rare King Louis. For seven is a three, eight with two lore. Um, lay it on the line. Whenever another character is banished, you may remove up to two damage from this character. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, it felt kind of bare bones. Even after one booster box, even though you still got a lot of nice stuff from there. Uh, but yeah, I was lucky to, uh, yeah, at least get some cards that I didn't have from my family. Um, Arthur, trained swordsman, but even then we are still missing a bunch of cards. Uh, Basil, of Baker Street. Rapunzel, Sunshine. Dr. Facilier, the savvy opportunist. Uh, Fidget, Redigan's henchman. Beast, foreboding recluse. Uncommon Mini Mouse, a stylish uh, server. We haven't even seen this in a booster box and in the deck, so that's crazy. It's the first time I see it. Lawrence, the jealous man servant. We get Bucky, the squirrel squeak tutor. As our first rare here, Prince Charming, the heir to the throne. Then we get a, a super rare, Isma, scary beyond all reason. It's a six cost, four, four with two lore, shift four, and it has cruel irony. When you play this character, shuffle another chosen character card into their player's deck. That player draws two cards. And we get a foil uncommon, Nick Wilde, the Wily Fox. All right. Next up, we get Virana, the Fang Chief. We get Jasmine, heir of Agraba. Mulan, free spirit. Chip the teacup, gentle soul. Mulan, soldier in training. Hercules, hero in training. Caterpillar, it's her first uncommon. Haven't seen this one either yet. Uh, calm and collected. Uh, last stand. And we have Binding Contract. And this is the first time we see this one as well. So that's what I mean. It, 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 it's weird. It's a weird distribution. I just can't get my head around it. Ooh, nice. We didn't have this rare yet. Prince John, the greediest of all. Oh, I really like this character. Prince John. Oh, John Lackland. Beautiful. Beautiful character. Also, uh, history-wise, very interesting character. Then we have Madame Mim, the rival of Merlin. Also, the first time that we see this one. And of course, for rares, that's fine. But to see commons and uncommons for the first time after buying all the products, I know, I'm, I'm just rambling. Um, and we get a foil Winnie the Pooh, Honey Wizard. Nice. 4-3. Oh, uh, wait, not 4-3. Three. three more boosters. We start off with a Hypnotize. The Knock, Water Spirit. Snow White, Last in the Forest. Oh, Lost in the Forest, sorry. Elsa, Gloves of. Lady Tremaine, Overbearing Matriarch. Tiana, Diligent Waitress. Uh, uncommon Raja, Warrior of Kumandra. Jafar, the Dread Dreadnought. And we have Pain, Underworld Imp, for the first time that I see him as well. Very cool. Then we get as a rare here, 
Sleepy's few, uh, Flute. And we get a, a super rare beast, Selfless Protector. For six, we get a two, eight with one lore. Uh, shield another. Whenever one of your uh, other characters would be dealt damage, put that many damage counters on this character instead. And we get a foil Hercules, hero in training. Two more packs left. Improvise, Cruella de Vil, fashionable cruiser. Piglet, very small animal. I just love this. Look at him sweeping up the autumn leaves with this broom that's bigger than himself. Oh, I really love Winnie the Pooh. I mean, it's such a wholesome story. No bad guys, no villains. It's just the friends. Just, just, just them in the forest. Oh, I like it. Okay, so Winnie the Pooh. Minnie Mouse zipping around. Benja, the guardian of the dragon gem. Um, as our uncommon here, Pinocchio on the run. We have Dopey, always playful. And we have Judy Hops, optimistic officer. Then as our first rare, Goofy, night for a day with the best stats in the game so far. Um, yeah, it's a 10-10 with four lore. My goodness. And we get a, a legendary card here. We have Beast, the tragic hero. Oh, he is a five cost three five with two lore, shift three. It's better this way. At the start of your turn, if this character has no damage, draw a card. Otherwise, he gets plus four strength this turn. All right. And we get a foil rare, Lucifer, the cunning cat. All right, one pack to go. Uh, so far, it does not disappoint. Pretty good pulls. Ray, the easygoing firefly. We uh, get uh, nothing to hide. Eudora, the accomplished seamstress. Cusco, wanted llama. What did you call me? Jafar, royal vizier. As a uncommon, you can fly. Eli Labouf, uh, big daddy. And we have Bounce. And as our first rare here, we have the Sorcerer's Spellbook. And we have Tuk Tuk, the wrecking ball. As our foil here, we have a foil common, Snow White lost in the forest and that is that all right so we get um three super rares one legendary we get a foil uh, super rare as well as a foil rare very nice indeed could have been way worse but this is uh, this is nice and uh, nice and also some uh, cards that we didn't see yet right there we have it lorcana the illumineers trove from the second set flood of the uh, rise of the floodborn um yeah thank you all very much for watching thank you all for the patreons appearing on screen here for supporting the channel um and see you all in the next video bye bye